Hello everyone! After learning how to install NetBeans and how to define Java class and make some objects, now we will go to learn how we will define methods, class methods in Java and to see how we will use it. Let's go! Okay. Let's take a look in the main class and what we had here. We had and what we have learned since we have object named O and attributes such as name, surname and age. Sorry for the Serbian language. Here is here is English first class. Okay. So now we have two objects. First object has these values, I mean p.name is common, p.surname is language and p.age is 36. Now, we want to make initializing, sorry, we want to make initialized new object, it is p1. And let's say p1 age is 22. p1 surname, sorry, p1 surname is action, let's say. And p1 dot name is John. Now we have two objects, and if we want to show details at the output of our program, we will write what the object name is, and now we will write p1 dot name now we want to make space it's concatenation p1 dot surname and p1 dot h and that is for second object for first object uh, it's similar procedure, so we will make p dot surname plus p dot h. Okay. Now we have all, and our on, on our output we will have all this. As we can see, first object, second object. Now, how we will learn to define methods to help us with uh, doing much less code than this. So, look how much code we write here. Okay, it's two lines, but it has too much characters in one line, right? Just to show name, surname, and age for one object, P. Let's have a look how we can do it in two lines with two commands. Action is like this. We are going to do... This is the main class and the main program. And in the class person, we have attributes. And look at this one. This is method. Print details. Now, we want to redefine, redefine it and to write some method. What we want to do with this method is to print all attributes for one object. How we can do that? We will put system of print line in the method itself. Look at this.
and that's it. Now we have method defined and we can use it in the main. And look how easy it is, how we call method from the main class. We, we will delete this or put it in the multi-line comment. And now we just have initialized two objects and nothing on the output. But if we want to show using this method print details for both objects, we will do like this p dot look at this we have print details method and we will do the same for the other object print details also now when we run our program we will got this in just two words print details for one object print details for other object and that's it we can define methods much more complex than this but this is the perfect example to, rule, to learn this our first defining method codes. Uh, thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe on the channel. See you in next video.